What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is called God Will Supply. God Will Supply. The title alone, I know it's going to resonate with you all, but it's also a confirmation to you all and a reminder to let you know that God will supply, okay? And so, listen... This is a prophetic word directly from the Holy Spirit. And so I'm going to be obedient and release this word. The scripture that he led me to was in um, Joel 3 verse 18, where it says, In that day, the mountains will drip new wine and the hills will flow with milk. All the ravens of Judah will run with water. A fountain will flow out of the Lord's house and will water in the valley. And so this scripture right here is a complete confirmation of how God is going to bless you okay God is going to bless you God has already blessed you and God will supply your every need God is not the God where he is going to turn your back on you and you are just stuck without having the things that you need in this lifetime and so this is a prophetic word to somebody to let you know that God will supply your every need before the end of this year. You all have been waiting. You've been seeking. You've been searching. You've been waiting by the door. You've been waiting for an email. You've been waiting for a phone call. You've been waiting for something to come into the mail. And you have literally been crying out to God like, Lord, I've been doing the work. I don't understand what's happening you see me putting in the work and yet I still have not seen any results. The Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you to just type in the comments, good results are coming before the end of the year. Good results are coming before the end of the year. That is your faith to believe it and to know that God is not a man that he shall lie. And so if he promised you something, this right here is also a confirmation to let you know, don't give up, keep believing, okay? Hold on to that faith. Hold on to the little faith that you have, the faith of a mustard seed. Hold on to that because good results are coming. God will supply your every need. So all you need to do is just relax. Most times when we decide to just take our hands off of a situation, take our hands off of the things that we are trying to control in this season, the second that we are willing to surrender and take our hands off of that, is the moment that we will be able to allow God to get in the driver's seat and allow him to drive and do what it is that he needs to do. Take us to where we need to go because he knows the path. He knows the way. God is finding ways to bless you, okay? And he has already found ways to bless you. You need only to be still. You need only to be still. And I hear that in my spirit that the Holy Spirit has been telling a lot of you all to be still. But because you have fear, because you have doubt, because you've been scared in this season, you have been running around like a chicken with your head cut off, trying to find different things in order to make your life make sense. When you are walking this thing out with God, it's not going to make sense. It's not going to make sense. So you have to release control, release the control and just surrender and know that God at the right time will put the pieces back together and put it back together how he sees fit because he is the only one that knows the beginning from the end. He is the only one that knows your entire life in and out. He knows you. He breathed life into you. He knows your every step. He knows your every move. And he also knows when you are ready to receive the blessings that he has stored up in heaven for you, okay? And so listen, this is a confirmation to somebody. God will supply your every need. God will supply your every need. You don't have to have it figured out. You don't have to know all the answers. As a matter of fact, it's good if you just don't know. And your response is, I don't know. But God does. I don't know. But my father does. And that's all that matters. He wants you to depend on him. He wants you 
to lean on him in this season, okay? And so listen, this is a word of confirmation. This is for somebody. I literally can see people just crying and crying and crying in the spirit. Um, you have been overwhelmed. You've been stressed. You've been sad because you don't know how things are going to work in your favor. I literally see eviction letters. I see people in the spirit that are stressing out right now. And God wants to tell you that he is faithful. He is faithful. The spirit of poverty does not come from the Lord. That does not dwell in his kingdom. That spirit was not sent from God. The spirit of poverty is an attack from the enemy. It's a generational curse or you yourself has sinned and has opened a door and allowed the enemy to come into your life to attack that area of your life. But know that God is the God of restoration. God will restore. God will give you new wine. Okay. God said he's bringing you into a season where you will flow. There will be milk will flow. Water will flow. That means that you will have abundance, you will have prosperity, you will have wealth, okay? And so listen, I pray that you are able to receive this blessed and prosperous word. I love you all so much. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out to 10 of your family and your friends. If you have not yet purchased... <clears throat> my devotional make sure you go purchase it um they will you will receive them before thanksgiving um what else if you have not yet subscribed to our family channel the Hayes haven make sure you go subscribe today i love you all so much know that god will supply your every need and i will see you all next time